I've approached it quite positively, I suppose. I've decided I'm going to exercise as much as I can. I made a vow to myself that I would get my youngest son to 18 um, without it having too bad an impact on him. And so that is what drives me. I'm driven to keep myself as healthy as possible and to do, now, now that it's out in the open, to do as much to publicise it and encourage people to support Parkinson's UK in its fight to try and find a cure or just something to slow it down. Three and a half years ago, uh, in fact four years ago now, I noticed a very slight tremor in um, this finger and it wasn't constant, it was just occasionally. But I'm very body conscious, very aware, always done a lot of exercise and I thought it was strange. So I booked to see my GP who I was convinced would tell me just to go away, it was nothing to be concerned about. Um, and when I saw him, I didn't realise he works in neurology as well, and he knew exactly what he was dealing with. He made me do a few tests, and he said, I think we need a second opinion. Yeah. And the week before the summer holidays, having had a DAT scan at uh, Bradford Royal Infirmary, I was told by the consultant that uh, the DAT scan showed that I had Parkinson's. But my first thought was definitely for my children. Um, I think it's natural for a mum. I was 46, had a seven and a nine year old. What does this mean for my children? Nobody can tell you definitely what your symptoms are going to be, how quickly you're going to get them, how quickly you are going to progress. Um, it is very individual. It wasn't what we'd planned for our lives. In our retirement, we were going to be heading to the third world trying to do something good out there and all of a sudden that was all thrown up in the air and I decided that we should do uh, a walk and I just thought I'd have a few friends come and join me for the walk and in the end we had over a hundred people some of the children on the walk actually gave me their own pocket money we've raised currently um, over three thousand pounds and I know there is still more money to come in it's about getting the support you need I think and I think for people who are young, possibly also female, it's finding other people that you have a connection with to help you through. 